Hi guys, it's me. This is a haul from Victoria's Secret, and it's pretty much all from their little beauty collection. It's not, it's not like lingerie or anything. Um, I wouldn't put that, on, I wouldn't put that on the, um, YouTube anyway. But um, it's all scents, body mists, perfumes, things like that. I went a little crazy. Um, my cousin recently came to visit her and her family. I came to visit. She just turned 14 in August, and it was her birthday the day they drove down. So um, I went to get her present, a birthday present, and I thought, you know, well, let me get her something Victoria's Secret. So basically, when I was looking for her present, I got, you know, a little crazy and bought a lot of stuff for myself. I got. Here's, oh, well, I'll start with these. These, I think these are pretty new, these fragrant body mists. I think that's what they're called. Naturally Victoria's Secret. These are awesome. They are free of parabens, mineral oil, petrolatum, and artificial dyes. So these are pretty much all natural. If you're somebody who's really against putting all those chemicals, those dirty chemicals that everybody keeps talking about, and I don't know anything about them, but they say they're bad for you. So when I saw these, I thought, hey, this is pretty nice. They're body mists, and they don't have all that crap in them. And on top of that, they each... Um, they're, I think they're like five different scents, maybe six different scents. They all um, are, are geared or do different things for your skin. For instance, this one rejuvenates and replenishes with antioxidant hibiscus and yum berry extracts and essential minerals. So this one is the hibiscus and yum berry scent. I've never heard of a yum berry before. I don't really know what it is, but um, yeah. Okay, so it says... Here we combine sensually stimulating hibiscus, a tropical flower used in Carib Caribbean herbal remedies, with antioxidant yum berry, a superfruit revered for its conditioning qualities. So um, it's fortified with vitamin C and E. Um, so that's that. Um, <clears throat> so I figured this would probably be a good thing for um, winter. The first one I bought, though, because I went back and bought some more. The first one I bought was the Violet and Jasmine, which balances and conditions. And I thought the concept of this was pretty, pretty novel. That, this one I think smells the best. I love the way this smells. It smells like clean laundry. I know that probably is like, well, I don't know. I, for me personally, clean laundry is really comforting. It reminds me of my grandmother's house because, you know, she's older and her house is smaller. She doesn't have a, like a dryer. Um, she has a washer, but she doesn't have a dryer for her clothes, so she hangs them. So her kitchen and the backyard used to always smell like fresh laundry, and I just love that smell, and this kind of reminds me of that, which is odd because I never thought Violet and Jasmine would smell like fresh laundry. But, um, anyway, so this one balances and conditions, and this, hold on, it says, Here we mix Violet, revered for its medicinal properties, with Indian Jasmine, a folk remedy for dryness and sensitivity. And this, what I love about this, Initially, when I got this one, I, I I have really, like, I don't want to say dry skin, but I have, like, I guess kind of dry and bumpy skin over here, like, on the backs of my arms, and I don't really know why that is, but, um, you know, I, got, I started using, like, a body scrub from Avon that I really like, um, and actually, oh, that's the other thing, thank God I have it in here. Um, <clears throat> Never mind, I'll show it in a minute. But um, I started using a body scrub, and I really like it. But when I started spraying this on the backs of my arms, this, I don't know, I don't, they must be geniuses. Because whatever this is, it really helped. So if you have dry skin, if you maybe have dry patches, I'm not, I mean, I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to sit here and say, just put this on and it's going to be fine. But, I mean, give this a shot. Like, if you have, you know, if your knees are really dry or your elbows or if you have like you know the backs of your arms are dry too or if there are patches on your body where you know like you have to overly moisturize for whatever reason give this a shot if it if it doesn't work then well at least you'll smell good but um i really i was really 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 impressed and you can see how much i've used i've used i've used it a lot so i really love this this one in particular the violet and um jasmine one that balances and conditions so the other one that I got is the Akai Berry and Magnolia, and this one protects and brightens. And I figure, well, this would be nice. I've used this one a little bit too. This would be nice just to, I don't know, protect and brighten my skin. Um, so it says, here we marry skin protective Akai Berry, known as the most potent antioxidant in nature, with Magnolia revered in Chinese medicine for its brightening properties. Um, 
sometimes in the winter, you know, I'm not saying that, I mean, I'm not showing off a ton of skin anyway, so it doesn't really matter if my skin looks dull, but, you know, if you just want to, well, in the very least, protect your skin, that's kind of a nice thing, too. And this one smells really good, too. This one, this actually smells a little bit like laundry, too. I know that sounds really weird, because they don't really smell anything alike. This one and the Violet Jasmine don't really smell anything alike, but this one smells kind of like laundry, too. I don't know. And don't spray too much, because I, <laughs> I tried spraying this, like, all over my body, as, a point, as opposed to just um, um, spraying it where I kind of needed it. And it's pretty strong once you spray it. When, when you spray, like, a lot... It's not like a regular body mist where it's just going to be like that same kind of sweet, fruity smell because most body mists are that smell um, or that gear that way or lean that way. Um, it's not going to just, you know, kind of heighten up. This is going to be like pretty strong. The more you spray, the stronger it's going to get. Um, it goes away pretty fast though. I mean, if you if you can stand it, then go ahead and try it. Go ahead and do it. I can stand it, so that's fun. But, I mean, they're pretty strong. And in the store, they have the testers, so you can just spray them and, you know, see if you can withstand the, uh, the scent and test them out. <clears throat> okay, so remember the first one I tried that I picked up was the hibiscus and yumberry? Well, in the store that I went to, I don't know if they were selling out of them or if they just hadn't inventoried, but um, they, only some of them had the body scrub. I think most of them had like a body butter type thing. I don't know if they call it a body butter, but they had, or body conditioner I think is what they were calling it, um, in like a tub. But this one's the only one that um, was a body scrub that I saw, and of the scent that I liked anyway. So I decided just to try it because, you know, I knew I'd probably need it for winter anyway. But it's the hibiscus and yumberry one. It's the one that rejuvenates and replenishes. It looks like this. It's pretty full. Hold on. So, so I took off the cap and see how it's got like a little thing. It's a Victoria's Secret across there. So you just take this off. If I can get it off. There you go. There's still a bit of product on there. Um, and I haven't, I haven't um, used this at all yet. I think. Well, no, I take that back. I've used it once just to try it out, and it smells good. I don't know if this is made of sugar. Oh yeah. Okay, it's um, in this invigorating sugar scrub, the unique combination of gently exfoliates and cleanses, revealing luminous, smooth skin and lasting softness. So, I like the color. <laughs> Not that that matters, but I think it's it's nice. And they filled it up a lot. I think that's pretty pretty good. Most scrubs don't fill it up that much. Well, at least the ones I've tried don't fill it up that much. But it's a pretty big tub. So I think that should at least last me through the winter when I start using this, because I already have another scrub that I'm using right now. Okay, then those are, I don't know what this line is called. I don't know. I'm just going to say they're the Naturally Victoria's Secret. That's what it says right here on the bottom of the box right here. It says Naturally Victoria's Secret. So I guess, I don't know if that's like that, that's what the line is called, but that's what I'm going to call it. And all the boxes are really, really pretty. I don't know if I showed them to you. I kept them all because I think they're pretty, which is really stupid because, you know, it's just a waste of space. So, aren't they cute? <clears throat> okay, so then I got this. This is new. It's called Lost in Fantasy. I think Victoria's Secret, I tried doing some research on it, and I posted actually a little mini article on, um, one, my blog, and two, on my, um, Lux account. I don't know if you all know what Lux is. It's www.lux. L U U U X. Yeah, and I'll put the link below. Um, Lux is basically a website where you can write articles, share things about products that you like. Not quite like Makeup Alley because, um, like I said, you're writing your own articles. You have to cite your sources. Um, you can put pictures and stuff up. It's really interesting. People can make comments on what you know, whether they like what you're saying, they agree with you, whatever, and you get points for making, for writing the articles. You get points for commenting on articles, you get points on liking, artic ar liking articles, you get points for making friends. Um, it's just really interesting. The person who turned me on to that was Michelle1218. I'll put her channel link below too. And um, it's just really interesting. And I'll make sure to put my um, blog link below too. So <clears throat> anyway, so I wrote a whole article about this. This is the Body Splash. And I've got the Eau de Toilette too. Um, but I like it. It's new. I think they have, when I went to my Victoria's Secret, they had four new scents that had the little new 
sticker right there. Um, there was like two or three of them that came in like a bluish bottle like this. Not bluish, but they had like a blue um, water color or tint to it. Because you know all of them have different colors. Like I think um, Love Spell is purple and Pure Seduction is pink, red, like a pinky color. And then, you know, like this is blue. There was another light, light blue. There was another other type of blue. So I was getting them all kind of confused, but I think the three of those were new. There's another one, um, there's another pink one that I think is new. I don't remember what that was called. Anyway, but of all the scents, I think this is my favorite. This is my new favorite. Um, it's, it's Passion Fruit, Brazilian Orchid, and Musk. So, I, I mean, I know that sounds strange. Oh, and it's infused with moisturizing aloe vera and calming chamomile. Um, I don't... It smells... If anybody has ever smelled Pure Seduction and Love Spell, which I still love even though I think, you know, they remind me of high school and college because those are the scents that I wore them back then. Um, but Love Spell is really, like, fruity. I actually got a bottle of that too just because I love it so much. But it's really fruity. This one, it's it's made of a cherry blossom, peach, and white jasmine. I'm pretty sure this is their most popular scent. At least, I mean, everybody that I know knows what this is. When I say love spell, they know what I'm talking about. But um, this one's like super fruity. Like, you just smell good. And the boys kind of come around. And at least they did in high school. <laughs> Not so much anymore. But um, um, they smell, it smells really fruity. And you know what's funny? It's funny that it says peach on there because I remember when I first smelled it when I was younger, I always thought it smelled like grapefruit, and for some reason it always stuck with me. It always smells like grapefruit, but I guess it does kind of smell peachy now that I know it's got peach in it. Um, but, like I said, I also got the Eau de Toilette of the um, Lost in Fantasy. But this is so... It's got, it smells kind of fruity because of the passion fruit. And it smells kind of sweet too, kind of like Pure Seduction. Like, to me, Pure Seduction is like a super sweet smell. Um... Not quite like food or candy, but it just smells sweet, like a honeysuckle. Like a honeysuckle is sweet, like it's kind of like that. Um, but this, it's got both of those in it, so I'm sure a lot of people are going to love it. I'm hoping this will become a permanent scent as well. I'm pretty sure it will be. However, there's something about it, maybe it's the musk, that kind of tones it down. It doesn't smell as fruity or as sweet. It still has, like I said, it still has those things, but there's something about it that, I don't know, like, sometimes when I wear the other two, Love Spell and Pure Seduction, I feel a little, I feel like a little kid, kind of. Not like, like a little kid, but I kind of feel like a high schooler for some reason. Like, those are scents that younger people, I think, would wear. I mean, not that I'm young anymore, so I guess I wouldn't know, but when I was younger, those are scents that I would wear. And this, I mean, I probably would have worn this too, but... I don't know, I just feel like it's a more grown-up version. Like, the girl who wore those scents when she was younger grew up to wear this. And I guess I did. So, um, anyway, I really, really like this. It, go to your local um, Victoria's Secret and try this out to, and, and just spray them and see if you really like them or if you like them at all, because I really do. And I think, like I said, I think these, this line is really interesting because so far... The packaging, like the the what it says that it's supposed to do for your skin, it actually does it for me personally. Like, I'm really really impressed. I wasn't expecting it, anything like that to for, for anything like that. I I wasn't expecting any great result at all. Honestly, I just got it because it smelled good, but and because you know, well, I wanted to see if like the anti you know the anti paraben and all that stuff was like a for real deal. Not that I I don't know. I guess I don't really care about that because. But I've been soaking myself in chemicals for this long, so, but what do I know? Um, <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> these really work, at least for me they do. So, I was very, very, very impressed. I can't say enough about them. And this, I love this smell so much. Like, I'm, I, I probably wear it every day. I've worn it every day this week. And I wore, I wore it at least four days last week to work. And, yeah, I've been wearing it a lot. I love it. A lot. Oh, let me show you the bottle of the Eau de Toilette. I just like saying that. I'm sorry, I know I'm being obnoxious. See how much I've used? And I just got it like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, it's really, and it's really pretty. I think the, the orchid is really pretty. Um, anyway, so give Victoria's Secret a shot.
And they have a lot of other perfume. Well, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, please just post it in the comment section and I'll try to address them. Okay, bye.